Okay guys, welcome to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the steel and aluminum plate assembly is bolted together and fastened to the wall. Each plate has a constant width in the z direction 200 mm. So the width of each plate is 200 mm and thickness is let's say thickness is 20 mm and it is said that if the density of a and b so plate a is made up of steel a and b both are made up of steel and their density is uh, the density of steel is 7.85 megagram per meter cube and similarly for plate c which is made up of aluminium the density is the density of aluminium for plate C is 2.71 megagram per meter cube. So we are required to determine the x bar of the center of mass. So we have to find the x coordinate of the centroid of this whole assembly. So first of all, since we know that density is always equal to mass times velocity and mass will be equal to density multiply by velocity. So uh, we need to construct this table and uh, if we want to find the mass for each plate then the units need to be consistent. So the density is me in megagrams per meter cube and these units are in mm. So if we uh, find if we use these units in mm then we will have the volume in mm cube. So we need to convert uh, this density into kg per mm cube this is in megagram per meter cube so in order to have the mass in kgs so first of all i will convert this megagram into meter cube so let's say that one megagram divided by meter cube this is equal to so mega is 10 raised to power 6 so we can say that 10 raised to power 6 gram divided by meter cube and now we want to convert it into kgs per mm cube so one kg is 10 raised to the power 3 grams and similarly to cancel out this meter 1 meter equals to 10 raised to the power 3 uh, mm and 1 meter cube will be 10 raised to the power 3 to the power 3 so this will become 10 raised to the power 9 so this is 1 meter cube is 10 raised to the power 9 mm cube so now this uh, gram will cancel out and this meter cube will cancel out and we will be left with kg per mm cube and that will be 10 raised to the power 6 kg and this is 10 raised to the power 3 into 10 raised to the power 9, 9 so that it becomes 10 raised to the power 12 and mm cube and if I bring this 10 raised to the power 12 uh, to the numerator so that would become 10 raised to the power minus 12 and we will get 10 raised to the power 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 12 kg per mm cube so this will give us 10 raised to the power minus 6 so 10 raised to the power minus 6 so from this we can say that 1 megagram per meter cube is 10 raised to the power minus 6 kg per mm cube so now the mass of plate a and b uh, both will be equal since both are made up of steel and the dimensions are same so we can say that mass of a and mass of plate B will be equal to the density of steel multiplied by the volume. So the density of steel is this 7.85 and mega gram per meter cube and multiply by the volume. So the volume for plate A and B will be this width, uh, this width multiply by thickness and multiply by its length so the length is 300 so this is multiply by 300 so these units are in mm cube this will be an mm cube now we need to convert this mega gram into meter cube and we have converted it so 1 mega gram divided by meter cube is 10 raised to the minus 6 so we will write that this is 10 raised to the power minus 6 kg per mm cube so now this mm cube, this mm cube will cancel out and the mass will be in kgs. So this is, we can find this, this is 7.85, 7.85 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 multiplied by 300 multiplied by 200 
multiply by 20. So this gives us the mass of plate A and B equals to 9.42 kg. This is 9.42 kg. This is mass of plate A equals to mass of plate B. So plate A and B, their masses are 9.42 kg and this is 9.42. And the, the location of the centroid from the y-axis is of both the plates. So the centroid of this plate A will be at its mid length and the centroid of plate B will be at its mid length and this distance will be this will be x tilde and since the length of the plate uh, A and B is 300 mm so this will be 150. So the centroid is at a distance of 150 mm from the y axis so we will write that this is 150 and this is 150. Similarly plate C so the mass of plate C will be equal to the density of aluminum multiply by volume of that plate C. So the density of aluminum is uh, 2.71 megagram megagram per meter cube multiply by volume. So the volume will remain the same. The length is 200 plus 100. So this is 300. So again that will be 300 multiply by 20 multiply by 200. So that is that length, thickness and width. So the volume for um, plate A, B and C is the same. Only the density is different, right? So 2.71 megagram per meter cube and again 1 megagram per meter cube is 10 raised to the power minus 6 kg. 10 raised to the power minus 6 kg per mm cube. And these units are in mm cube, so the mass will be in kg. So this is 2.71. 2.71 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 into 300 into 20 multiply by 200 and this gives us 3.252. So this is 3.252 kgs. And now its centroid will be again at its mid length. So this will be the x bar for plate C. This will be x bar. And from here to here, this is 300. This is 300 and from here to here, this is 150. This is 150 and this is 100. So this length, this small length is 50. So 300 plus 50, this is 50. So 300 plus 50 is 350. So the X bar of plate C, uh, the X tilde of plate C is 350. This is 350. Now we have to take the product of this 9.42, uh, 9.42 multiply by 150. So this gives us 1413. This is 1413. This will be also 1413. And 3.252 multiply by 350. This gives us 1138.2. 1138.2. And now as we know that x bar will be equal to the summation of x tilde times mass divided by the total mass of the assembly. So now we have to add up, we have to find the total mass so that will be 9.42, 9.42 plus 9.42 plus 3.252. So this gives us 22.092, this is 22.092 and this is the summation of the masses. And similarly, the summation of x tilde times mass. So this will be now 1413 plus 1413 plus 1138.2. This gives us 3964.2. Now x bar will be this sum that is 3964. 0.2 divided by the total mass which is 22.092 so that x bar will be so this answer divided by that mass which is 22.092 and this gives us approximately 179 uh, we can write that this is 179.44 mm so this is the location of the centroid of this whole assembly uh, from the y axis or we can say that from the origin in the x direction and that is 179.44 mm. So this is the solution of this particular problem 
let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning also subscribe engineers academy if you haven't subscribed it yet